on Thursday, April 4, 2019, our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai lovingly gave gifts and spent time with our young association members at the New Land in Taiwan, also known as Formosa, as it was Children's Day. Afterward, during a lecture, Supreme Master Ching Hai urged our association members to help our loved ones to adopt a plant-based diet to protect themselves spiritually. Your job is not only to follow me, to come to retreat, meditate, but your job is to help your fellow human beings who's erring, they're going to hell. You stand by and look, huh? All the religions say, if you eat meat, you drink wine, you go to hell. I never said that before. It's, for me, it's too strong a condemnation, but it is the truth. All the religious masters said that. If they're going to hell and you profess that they are your best, best friends and your wife, your beloved boyfriend, girlfriend, you let them go to hell? And you even follow them? Is that a way of a gentleman or a good lady? Yes or no? No. Do something. If I can, you can, okay? Do it gentle way, do it a smart way, not forcing, okay? Do something. If today you fail this way, you try another way. You smart boys, intelligent girls, you know how, okay? Yeah. I want you to help your friends, your relatives, and they all are our friends. They are all our relatives. Besides helping the animals not to suffer so gruesomely, in some dark corner that we have no access, that we don't even see, that we don't even know. All the things you learn about compassion, mercy, loving kindness, use it. Anyway, if you know somebody is going to fall or being hurt, and you know it in advance, then you would think of the way to help that person or not. Yeah? yeah? Think, you must think. You live with them, you see them all the time. You know their personality, you know the way to help. Okay, huh? I count on you. Mm -hmm. Help them, please. Help them and help the animals. Later that evening, Supreme Master Ching Hai began reading and expounding on Lord Buddha's teachings in Chapter 2 of the Shurangama Sutra. She also gave several pieces of advice to help ourselves as spiritual practitioners. For example, she reminded us not to engage in gossip. Don't listen to people talk, especially negative things about other people. Even if you hear it, even with your own ears, or see with your own eyes, things are not the way it looks like, or seems like, yeah? It could be wrong. You could be wrong. Master also suggested that practitioners dress decently when attending group meditation to avoid attracting unwanted attention or karma. Try just to wear more decent clothes. I know you used to wearing, you know, tight things at home. It's easy, convenient to work at home. I know that. Buy a couple of tunic, okay? Like cover up to the knees or something like that. Loose, yeah? Not tight. Airy, easy to meditate. Cool, okay? Not sweaty. It's not obligation. It's just an advice. It's better for you, okay? We are most grateful to our beloved Master for always sharing various meaningful ways to help others and ourselves. May we all do our best to assist our loved ones to follow the merciful way of life for themselves and the sake of all beings on our precious planet. We pray for Master's forever comfort, wellness and safety in heavenly love.